Greetings, beautiful people, and welcome to day nine. It's nothing personal. Today, we'll be discussing a psychological construct called the locus of control. Control that. The locus of control can be classified as either external or internal. When it's external, we attribute events to people, God, or the world at large. When it's internal, however, we attribute all these events to ourselves. We attribute everything that happens in life to us and what we do. Now, some events in life are down to chance or forces outside of our control, mine, yours, or other people's. And other events are really pretty much because of something that we did, our actions that led up to that point. Understanding the difference between the two takes a little maturity and a lot of courage. But that's a lesson for another day. Today, we're going to focus on that locus of control. So let's dig into it, shall we? People who tend to get depressed, have anxiety, or general dissatisfaction with life tend to have an internal locus of control, i.e. they believe that the things that happen in their lives are because of them or something that they did. It's wonderful to be accountable and to take responsibility for the things that you do. But it's not so wonderful to take credit for things that, quite frankly, you have nothing to do with or that have nothing to do with you. For example, let's say you go to the movies and as you get your popcorn, your cashier is seriously rude and she ignores you when you greet her. You get your popcorn and you head towards your movie a little hurt and upset. What did I do wrong? And I'm not trying to make fun of you, baby, but absolutely nothing. When it comes to other people's behavior, we often know much, much less than we think we do. More than likely, your cashier was probably just distracted or having a bad day when she served you. It's pointless to obsess over other people's behaviors when you know not at all why they're acting the way that they are. Going back to the movie example, you could spend that entire movie obsessing over whether or not you did something for somebody to be quiet when you said hello and miss out on your entire show. You might even leave thinking how people don't respect people anymore and how you're tired of being treated like a doormat. But are you? Or were you? And the funny thing is, you might go back and try to confront that person and they might not even remember serving you, let alone admit treating you poorly. So if you find yourself guessing at the motivation of others, stop yourself dead in your tracks and look closely at what info you really have. Is it really about you? Is your interpretation of the situation really correct? How about we switch perspectives? Did that change something? We should try not to assume the worst when lack of attention could honestly explain most of people's confusing behaviors. Be generous. Be willing to say that sometimes people are rude to each other and it has nothing to do with anything. People just having a bad day. And sometimes we could all cut each other a little more slack with just a little more understanding and patience with the fact that all of us is going through something. I mean, COVID, hello, we were stressed out for a minute. Now, on the other hand, the same principle applies when it comes to compliments. If someone is kind and sweet with you, don't assume it has anything to do with you. And also, don't assume that they're into you because it might not have anything to do with you either. If you base your value and self-worth on how often people compliment and validate you, then you'll be placing how you feel about yourself in the hands of others. By association, allowing them to have the control over your happiness. And honestly, no one should have that power but you. So I hate to break it to you, ladies and gentlemen, but a compliment is simply and merely a reflection of how people see you. And that can be true or false. But only you should be the judge on that. When you love yourself, have a solid self-concept, and when you act according to your own principles and values, the opinions of others are just that, opinions, good or bad. They become much less important. For today's challenge, if anybody has been bothering you lately, or if you have some unresolved issue with someone, take a moment to ask yourself, how much of it is really your business? And whether or not you've taken on more than you're actually responsible for. And that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I love each and every one of you. And I look forward to seeing you happy people tomorrow. So, peace and love and growth always. Queen T. Bye.